Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday, all. Happy prep day. I didn't even do my hair today. Not yet. <clears throat> I am making. Ooh, it's almost done. That's exciting. I, Tabitha and her family are still here. I'm making crepes and passion fruit curd or lilacoy butter, whatever you'd like to call it. Hopefully some people are on. Say good morning if you jump on. Excuse my appearance. I had to, I woke up, jumped in the shower, ran to take the trash to the recycling center before it closed and I didn't even get to do my hair. And man, things are just heavy on my heart this morning, so I thought I'd go live. I'm at my stove, and my phone is in my cabinet, so we're seeing my messy kitchen and everything. <laughs> and my messy hair. Say hello if you're here. Let me know where you're watching from. If you want to know what Lilacoy butter is, it's also called a passion fruit curd. Super easy. Oh my gosh. It's looking so delicious. Um, so I'll get that recipe out of the way first, and then we'll talk about the black goo a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I did two whole eggs. I wanted to make a lot. I'm making crepes for Tabitha and her family, and I wanted some homemade jam. The only fruit I had on hand, because we've been eating all our fresh fruit, <clears throat> is frozen passion fruit pulp. I love passion fruit, so I'm like, oh, I'll make passion fruit butter, or lilacoy curd, uh, lilacoy butter. So, <clears throat> anyway, it's two whole eggs and four egg yolks in a pan with three quarters of a cup of sugar and three quarters of a cup of the passion fruit curd. And you just beat it until it's all incorporated. You put it over a double boiler and whisk it until it starts to thicken. And then after it starts to thicken, I'm going to stir in 12 tablespoons of butter. I'm going to put it back over the double boiler just for a little bit. Make sure it thickens up again nicely. <clears throat> and everything is emulsified, and then that's it. If you want to keep it, you can pour it into a sterilized jar and keep it like jam in your fridge. We're going to eat it fresh, so I'm just going to pour it into a serving container. I'll show it to you guys in a minute and we'll taste it. But let's talk about this black goo stuff. Boo, black goo. All right, so the Lord had me start exposing the Spider-Man Venom black goo. Actually, I, I preached on Mother's Day at a church some years back and that was the whole topic. The black goo was the whole topic and on a Mother's Day um, sermon, crazy. But it was just all about sin and how if you let a little bit in your life, it just takes over. You know, Jesus called it yeast. But the spy, if you've ever seen Spider-Man 3, where the black goo touches him and takes over and then he likes it because it gives him power. And anyway, <clears throat> Sears is conscious. And so my whole sermon was about that. So then years later, when I start seeing black goo crop up in Lady Gaga videos, and obviously I don't watch Lady Gaga, but, you know, pictures and that kind of thing floating around on Facebook and <clears throat> all this talk of this black goo. And then now years later with the jab, the snake bite, uh, graphene oxide, it's black goo. And it's like, I don't even really understand the science of it, but it's like quantum matter. It's like some kind of matter that crosses boundaries between the physical realm and the spirit realm. It's magnetized, it grows, it moves, it does all sorts of crazy things. Um, and people are showing it being taken out of the out of their skin after getting a snake bite and I don't know, all sorts of things. So anyway, it's a topic that the Lord has had me looking into for years and years. Then all of a sudden, somebody asked me about fulvic acid, and I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I, you know, I'm an herbalist. I'm not a nutritionist, and so I get a lot of nutritionist questions. Um, and I always, you know, I'll try to help, and I'll do some research and get back to them. But I usually will say, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm an herbalist. 
Anyway, after about six different people started asking me about this folic acid stuff or boo, I was like, okay, I better look into this. It was all in like a, a two-week period. Everybody starts asking. <clears throat> so I'm like, all right, I'm going to look into it. Uh, you know, people in my biblical healing group are asking. My friends trust my opinion in this way, and I want to tell them what I know, which was nothing. So I better start researching with the Lord. Let me grab a spoon. island for a spoon because our last island is where we kept all the silverware but there's no drawers in this island so anyway I start doing some research oh my gosh that's one of the best flavors ever but I think I want to thicken it just a little bit more and then I'll show it to you guys so anyway, make a long story short, I started to do some research. I was like, wow, this stuff sounds amazing. You know, it like kills parasites. That's a big one everybody's talking about or removes them supposedly. Hello, happy Friday, Friday, happy prep day. So I do a post and I'm like, listen, here's all the good stuff about it. And then here's, I got to check in my spirit and here's why. It appears that it's decomposing plants and animals. That's what makes up, I think it's called hum, human, humic, humic and fulvic acids. De decomposing plant material and animal material. So I'm like, well, there's no guarantee that it wouldn't be unclean. And plus, like you're not supposed to eat roadkill. That's considered unclean by the Lord. Even if the roadkill is a clean animal, it's considered unclean. Like even if it's a cow or something. So good morning, everybody. I'm like, yeah, this is just not sitting right with me. And then I read more about it and how, you know, when grown correctly, fulvic acid is found in a lot of root veggies and I'm like okay that's the way the Lord intended it for us and everybody says well you know the soils are depleted so they're not the same as they were so then therefore you we, we don't get it in fulvic acid we, you know we don't get it in the fulvic acid in root veggies so we should take it like this and I still think well just because man has ruined our soil doesn't mean that we circumvent the way that God intended us to get it we just grow our own veggies right Anyway, make a long story short, I pretty much just said I'm not comfortable with it because it's decomposing and we have no way to verify whether or not they're unclean. And I don't believe that we're supposed to eat, consume dead decomposing matter for our health. I think that the Lord has given us life all around us, veggies and all that kind of stuff for our health. Oh, veggies, fruits, leaves. You know, the leaf is for our healing. That's what the Bible says. So I just don't think it's necessary to take this stuff, but pray about it. You know, that was kind of my post. And if you saw my post yesterday, that was the, I didn't change my original post. I copied and pasted it, you know, from August 10th. Well, I didn't think anything of it. I moved on. I answered people's questions because they were coming to me for answers. And sorry, my coffee got cold very quickly. Oh, that's loud, isn't it? All right, sorry, I'll wait. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee today because I got up and jumped in the shower and ran to take out my my trash. And anyway, it's been a busy morning already. Yeah, I'm talking about boo and fulvic acid. Um, I am, Lori. So anyway, I walked away. I posted what I believe Holy Spirit wanted me to post, and I walked away. I didn't think, think about it at all. I'm sorry, I just this is bothering me. There we go, that's better. I walked away, I haven't thought about it, that was August 10th. Well then, at 11.30 at night, all of a sudden, um, hang on, I need one more spoon, and I'll show you guys how the passion fruit curd turned out. Eleven thirty at night, I get this message from somebody. Now it's gonna, it's going to thicken up as it cools. Right now it's a little bit like melted butter because that's kind of what it is. Can you see? I mean, it's a little thicker than melted butter. But it'll thicken even more as it cools and then you can spread it on toast. You can put it on ice cream. We're going to have it on crepes. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good. Oh my gosh. It's one of my favorite flavors ever. 
So that took like, what? All of about 15 minutes and I have a huge batch. All right, so anyway, it was 11.30 at night, uh, about 11 to 11.30 at night central time, a couple of nights ago. What is today, Friday? So Wednesday night, I'm going to bed and I get this message from somebody I don't even know. She comments on my post in the Biblical Healing Group and says, I'm gonna send you some messages about this. And then, um, <laughs> I knew people were gonna come on here and start to give me a hard time, but and that's why I wanted to do this, quite honestly. My friend, Brandon at Beacon Hill, he, he and I are both researching. We may do a live together about this. This is not that. This is not gonna be a super informative, you know, expose it's just a chat that's why i called it a chat we're just going to chat about it because people are coming against me and accusing me of all sorts of things one lady even said yesterday i thought you were a christian because i came against boo i'm not a christian like that should tell you something right there it's insanity so anyway make a long story short somebody sends me all these screenshots of a boo user that's or maybe i think she was even a distributor that started to connect the dots and it was looking like human bio sludge may be in this bog. Human decomposing human flesh may, may be in this bog where Boo gets their stuff. So I was like, okay, what? I just thought I had done a whole post on bio sludge months ago. So here's the thing. People think that I'm just jumping the gun and gossiping and slandering, but this has been years years in the making the lord has been showing me black goo graphene oxide and human bio sludge it's been coming up for years and he has me look into it and then i lay it down then he has me look into it and i lay it down and now all of a sudden it's all connecting the dots in this boo stuff so anyway make a long story short i um just think it's 11 o'clock at night i cannot i cannot comprehend this right now I'm going to sleep. I'm going to pray on it. I wake up the next morning and Brandon at Beacon Hill has a huge post and is doing a live video exposing Boo and one of its workers, one of the, the top, the top guy, uh, the top distributor, I should say, at Boo. So I was like, so, um, okay, Laura, your comments are super distracting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just let me get it. Let me spit it out. So anyway, um, I'm like, why is he posting about this? The Lord does that all the time. I'll post something and then I'll see Brandon does. Or he'll post something and then I'll post something and then we'll look later and we we're both kind of posting at the same time. Like it's just been crazy the last few weeks. He just had, the Lord is telling us the same things. We're using the same words. Something I posted uh, years ago in 2016, Brandon just said the same words, not knowing, we didn't even know each other back then. Like the Holy Spirit just has us posting and exposing the same thing. So I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I didn't mean for you to shut up, Lori. No, I was just, I can't. And you know what? I wonder if I could move the comments. Yeah, there we go. They're moved. Say whatever you want and then I'll go back to them later. So anyway, I'm like, why is he posting about boo? Like he, you know, I understand why I am because I'm in the health industry and people ask that. But why is he? Because he's just continually posting about, uh, you know, the mark and the word and, and times, which I am too, but it just didn't fit. Well, I thought there's the Holy Spirit again. And so I watch a little bit of his live. I can't get a connection, so I can't watch the whole thing. And make a long story short, I take what he has found and I attach it to my post and I make it public. Before, I posted it only in my private group just for women. And I did that because those were the people that were asking my opinion. And normally, most you know things like that I keep in my private group. But now this is serious. He's starting to... So now somebody's showing me this whole like connect the dots where it looks like medical waste, solid medical waste, which includes humans, may be in the bog because the guy who started the company, had his old company, it was like they keep changing the name. He started in solid waste, his company, he was affiliated with this solid waste company. 
and one of their clients or whatever was that you can read uh, Butch you can read my post yesterday Butch put a bunch of the screenshots and you can follow the rabbit trail but it's just looking like it's too weird it's it's too coincidental that he owned these medical waste companies and then it changed its name and then it changed its name and eventually became black oxygen organics like does that make you feel comfortable that it was a medical he the same guy had three companies that all changed their name that now are boo but before that it was I think it was Suncor and before that it was Golden Moore or something which of more is a bog and so anyway just follow the rabbit trail so anyway I'm like I need to put this out there this is serious but then even more so I start getting a message from another person she's going crazy she's even using f-bombs hi Rachel <laughs> I don't even know these people they're just sending me this stuff saying she believes and it was like ding 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 it was starting to click she believes that this stuff became big and was released kind of as an attack on the Christian and or natural health community that would not get the snake bite as a natural way to get the graphene oxide in the people that would not take the jab so I'm like what is this possible all these bells are going off in my head I'm praying I'm listening to her I'm connecting the dots I message Brandon or he messaged one or the other we start digging into it it kind of explodes with information it's just like it's all there I start researching graphene oxide in relation to fulvic acid and ends up that graphene oxide is what is used to extract fulvic acid it's it actually calls fulvic acid a contaminant and it says graphene oxide can be used to extract fulvic acid the, con the contaminant fulvic acid so fulvic acid is a contaminant that should be alarming as in and of itself but then the fact that it may be extracted with graphene oxide which is the very stuff that the black goo that is the quantum material that is absolutely 100% evil and that everybody's up in arms about because it's in the the jab the snake bite so what if what if this is my question to all of you what if graphene what I'm sorry what if boo oh and the top distributor he's a Kabbalist he's an occultist he has a ministry using Christ's name but it's this higher Christ consciousness garbage it is so bad it is full of evil occultism I mean it is look just look at his page look at his Instagram look at his website his Phoenix 137 ministry oh and here's a crazy just this is where I got tears in my eyes so, I, so before this point I was like okay I looked at that guy's page I thought he was the creator I misspoke there once Brandon corrected me I went and I changed my post and said oh he's not the creator you know he's top distributor and I took away the word, word creator but but up until this one certain point I'm just following I'm like okay he's a disaster um, and he, he's evil but I couldn't really find anything on the CEO right away and I'm just taking the rabbit trail well then I see on there on the boo website go look for yourself you guys can do the same thing I did I'll tell you exactly what I did and this is the moment that Holy Spirit my tears welled up it, my eyes welled up with tears and I felt Holy Spirit confirm that what this Rachel person was messaging me that this was a giant witchcraft assault on the natural community that the the Kabbalists the Illuminati the elite that they knew a bunch of us would rise up against the snake jab so then therefore they needed to do something that would connect that community the Christians the, and and there's tons of witches involved in this company tons of witch distributors anyway they needed to do something to to attract that community that would be anti snake jab and what if this is it okay so I'm like okay what if that is it 
That's crazy, right? So then I go to the website. This is the part that, that brought tears to my eyes. There's a picture of him, the CEO, holding his hand. I think he's the CEO. Don't quote me. Maybe he's the president. I don't know his title. He's the first picture. When you go to About, you go to the Boo Black Oxygen Organics website, he's the first picture in About. The, so the first guy that they're talking about, which means he's super high up. He's got two hands up. They're covered in this mud, this blue, Boo stuff bog stuff and right above him it says the magic number is 63 so i was like okay that's alarming what he's referring to is that it took 63 bogs supposedly to t he tested 63 different bogs until he found the, the like magic one that is the best health thing supposedly since the dawn of time and i just googled magic number 63 to see what would come up well, when I was in my 20s, before I knew the Lord, I used to play a game called Magic the Gathering. Think Dungeons and Dragons times 100. It's insane. Obviously, I've repented and broken all that garbage off me, but it's insane. You literally cast spells while you're playing this card game. You collect all the different cards, you go against your opponents, and you cast spells like Pestilence and War. And, I mean, just all sorts. You use demons, you call upon demons through the cards like I didn't know that's what I was doing I just thought I was playing a game and the game is genius honestly uh, which is why it's so appealing but anyway um guess what comes up magic so I keep digressing but I just want to show you the whole the breadcrumb trail that Holy Spirit led me down when I looked into the health aspects of it I'm like this sounds amazing and I was about to say that and Holy Spirit's like check why is it not amazing? Okay, I better look deeper into what it is. Oh, it's decomposing plant and animal material. Oh, it could possibly have pigs or shrimp in it. Oh, it's unclean. I don't want to do that. My mind did not even go to humans. Okay, then over the course of these two weeks, breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. People keep sending me breadcrumbs. I start looking into it. I'm like, could this be possible? Ashley, is her last name Felt? Fent? Something like that. Somebody will know and drop her name. Is the one that connected the dots to the human human waste. Anyway, make a long story short. Magic number 63. So my mind is already like, Lord, could it be possible? Could it be possible that this is an, uh, just one more Illuminati elite assault like they've been doing with the, the V and with the snake bite? Is this, is this all part of it? Is this one more aspect to reach one more um, group of people in the world? Could it be that this is the, a, a witchcraft assault, a satanic ritual assault against the natural community and Christians? And sure enough, guess what it says? And I can post the pictures in the comments later. Magic the gathering card number 63 it's a demon who believes that when he consumes humans he gets all of their health and power whatever he consumes he believes he gets their health and power and so he consumes humans to get health and power what are the odds I'm praying about it people are sending me cannibal you know human flesh stuff about boo medical waste solid medical waste which includes body parts i'm praying i'm following the rabbit trail i'm on the boo website i'm downloading their pdfs to read about the science of it and i notice the magic number is 63 while i'm praying about cannibalism and could it be possible that this is a satanic cannibal assault on the natural community that refuses the jab? And magic, num card number 63, is exactly about gaining health from consuming humans. If you guys don't see the connection there, the spiritual connection, and that the only one who could reveal something like that is Holy Spirit, then I don't know what to tell you. So here's the deal. I'm getting hate messages because I'm talking about boo, literally. Told I'm not a Christian because I'm exposing boo. I'm told I'm gossiping and I'm slandering. I'm told that I'm going about this all wrong and that I don't know Jesus 
and that I'm not doing it as the Bible says, and I wish I wouldn't have friended you, and I mean, just ridiculous. It's ridiculous that people think it's okay to talk to a, a, another brother or sister that way because they're personally offended by something Holy Spirit is exposing. And I call you to repent. You know who you are. You people that are accusing me of not loving the Lord because I'm exposing this company, you need to repent for the words that you've spoken over my life and spoken to me and for the harsh words. Because all I'm doing is following Holy Spirit's lead and trying to warn people before it's too late. At the same time, I'm getting hate messages and being told I'm not a Christian, which I deleted that comment. That person blocked me so I couldn't even reply. So I just deleted her comment. You don't get to say something and block me so that I can't say anything back. Um, but anyway, I, if you are personally offended by the truth about the company you are with and you attack the messenger, you are blind and in pride. That's what's happening. You know, I'm with It Works. I will come right out and say that. I am with It Works Global. As far as I know, I haven't personally spoken to the CEOs myself, but from what I know, they are Christ honoring. Um, they start every every conference I've ever been to, we start with worship. The, wor the very worship songs I worship the Lord to at home, are they perfect? Probably not. Is there sin in their lives? Probably. I don't know, but I do know that I believe in the ingredients and the products and that I believe wholeheartedly Holy Spirit led me to this company. If they come out with a folic acid um, product, which is possible because they're on the cutting edge of natural medicine and, and they're always looking to see what's helping people, and supposedly there's a gazillion testimonies of how this stuff is helping people, if they come out with a product, I will not promote it. And I want you to know that. I will not promote it. I stand by that. At the same time that these hate messages are coming, I'm also getting messages from people saying, please keep exposing. I got one last night that said, this stuff almost killed me. She took one dose, it almost killed her. That's a real message from a real friend that I've had on here for, gosh, probably a year or more. Those messages are coming through as well. Please keep exposing. This stuff is dangerous. Please keep exposing. It made me so sick. Please keep exposing. I knew something was wrong. I knew there was a check in my spirit. At the same time that Brandon and I are exposing it yesterday, a sister on here, she doesn't know, and she's starting to order it, and as she orders it, her sales tax is 660, I'm sorry, not 600, $6.66, and she's like, what the heck is that? Like it freaked her out, which caught, was enough to cause, you know, to cause a red flag and to let Holy Spirit work, and then she saw our exposés. It was like, oh my gosh, that's confirmation. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for saving me. And then she was able to cancel her order. Other people are saying, oh my gosh, for some reason my order wouldn't go through, so I gave up and was going to go back to it, and I saw your post. Thank you. So I'm sorry if your livelihood is connected to this. The Lord will bless you if you repent and come out. I believe that. Same with Young Living. Young Living, pure occult. Mormonism, pure satanic occultism. It's terrible. They have yoga garbage and chakras and so does plant therapy and doTERRA. They're all the same. They have all this occult garbage affiliated with their oils and people get so mad because they've built these giant businesses and I have done, I've built a business for the last three and a half years with It Works and if for some reason all of a sudden they start becoming evil with their products, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt if I have to come out and repent. It's going to hurt. But we have to do that. If God, if you've done something with a certain company and God reveals later that there is some sketchy or evil or blatantly evil things going on with the company and you walk away offended and shooting the messenger, you're in sin and pride. You got to repent. I'm not at fault for exposing what the Lord is showing me about Boo. I'm not in sin for doing that. No. All right, I'm going to go back to the comments, and then I'm going to make crepes for my guests because it's getting late and we're hungry. All right, let's see. Hi, Jessica. Blessings to you. Let's see. Late to the game. Okay. Friday. 
Oh, it's jumping. Hang on. I hate when it does that. Maybe more research. You don't know how much research I did. Um, Elise, but decomposing animal. The point for me, when I said that, when I said that I don't, um, when I said I don't want to eat unclean animals, I don't want to take that chance. You have no idea. And the reason you have no idea is because they're claiming it's like, what, 6,000 years of decomposition, right? Right on their website, it says something like it's either 60,000 years or six, some, some exorbitant number of years that they're saying that the, their product, Boo, has come from. So how could you possibly do enough research to find out what has been decomposed in that soil? It's like eating compost. Would you ever eat compost? It's garbage. No, I don't care how many nutrients or minerals are found in it. I'm not eating my compost pile. No, that's not what it's for. That's not what God intended decomposing soil for. All right, uh, I'm not into CBD either, Lori. Sorry. No. Um, yeah, I found that connection yesterday about the graphene. Let's see. Why does it keep jumping? I'm trying to follow just what essential oil. Christina, I actually create, because so many people were asking me for essential oil. So I'm an herbalist. I, I, I love plants and how God gave us plants for our healing. And so I kept wanting to recommend an essential oil brand to my customers and clients and my friends and and I was looking for one that I could use and I never really got comfortable. I was using Now brand for a while. Then I found Vibrant Blue and they were medically spot on and I learned a ton there. Um, but then she, I started to see in the depths of her website, I started to see some yoga garbage, some occultic new age garbage and so I had to break ties there. So I ended up making my own line. It's called Emerald Oils. You can find it at soulprosperity.me. And people think, you know, which came first, the chicken or the egg? People think I bash, bash Young Living and doTERRA and them because I want to sell my own. No, I only made my own because I couldn't find any that were not a cult. Now, I know there's some others like Eve's, somebody talks about Eve's Garden, but I think they're not right either. And then I think there might be one more is it Eden song? There is one that's that's good spiritually, but I just found the oils were kind of fluff. So anyway, there are some out there, but I did create my own line just so that I knew I could be comfortable telling my clients they could use this and it wasn't going to open demonic spiritual doors. So is what it is. Okay. Um Private message. I'm sure there's more, Lori. We're, Brandon and I are looking into it so we can do a video together. This Again, this was not an expose so much as it was just a chat about stop sending me hate messages because I'm just doing what Holy Spirit said and you don't get to judge my relationship with him because I'm exposing a company that you make money off of. Like That's insane to me that that's how people are reacting. And they're telling me I'm the one that's not a Christian. It's insane. All right, let's see. Private message. That's fine. I have house guests, so I may not. I have so many messages I haven't got to. If you're one of those people that has been messaging me, I'm not even looking at the messages unless I know you're a customer that needs something right now because I don't want to ignore my customers. But everybody else that's sending me other stuff, I'm like, um, I just, Lori, I just don't, I just don't want to go there and I don't want to digressed on that path but i've i've researched it i've prayed about it i've i know lots of christian friends that use cbd and that promote cbd i just have never felt comfortable going down that path as much as i've prayed about it my friend tabitha the one that's here she at one point said gosh everything that cbd claims to help with deliverance deliverance does it so if cbd is used as a means to an end while you're waiting to get healing from Jesus I totally understand but if you're using it as a survival mechanism forever for anxiety or whatever or depression I don't know I just 
And the fact that it's, oh, my hair's falling out. The fact that it's connected to the marijuana plant, and when you say it's not marijuana, people say it's not marijuana, but then yet they say it is marijuana without the THC and, you know, whatever. It just, there's just so much. Um, Jason, that may be the case. However, you wouldn't smoke poison ivy, right? You wouldn't smoke poison ivy. So there are plants that are there, but they're not necessarily for us. And I know the whole, I didn't want to go down this path with the CBD, but I know everybody says, oh, cannabosa, whatever was, it's mistranslated. It was in the holy anointing oil. I don't believe that. I believe that's garbage. I've looked into it. The only people who say that are people that want to partake in marijuana. I my I have not found that. I found that to be false in my research. All right, I'm going to go because I don't want to argue about boo or CBD. I, um, I love natural medicine. Everybody needs to work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. Um, but I'm allowed to share my thoughts. Lori, I pray blessings on your business. And if you're not supposed to be connected to CBD, I pray Holy Spirit would tell you. And if you are, then that's great. Um, oh, stop. Jason, just stop. Everybody says that. Everybody says insulin saves lives. Chemotherapy saves lives. It doesn't mean that they're from the Lord. It doesn't mean that they're for our use. I'm not... Yeah, people think the same thing about kratom, but kratom, or however you say it, that's terrible too, and you got to detox from it. But they're like, it's the natural heroin. It's a natural way to get off of heroin. So then you're addicted to kratom, and that's a plant. So it's just, it's controversial, and I don't want to go there. Everybody work out your own. Thank you, Debbie. Man, I needed that nice send-off. God bless you too. Um, everybody work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, and I'm going to keep doing and posting what Holy Spirit tells me to post. I have to. God bless you guys. No hard feelings with anyone. I gotta say what, I, you know, I just gotta say what Holy Spirit tells me to say. I live for the audience of one. May you be in health and prosper even as your soul prospers. Bye.